Hi, I'm Marvin Plackett, and today is Monday, July 20th. Greetings to all residents, to all staff, and to all guests. Good to see you again, nice to be back, and thank you, Mary, for covering for me on uh, Friday when I took a day off, I appreciate that. Um, we continue to have five active cases of COVID-19. Uh, it's been a while that we've been stuck at that uh, number of active cases. We certainly hope that uh, those five will uh, recover soon. Sometimes, as we know, COVID uh, can really linger. Uh, for some people, COVID uh, response, the uh, body can take many months uh, to recover. And uh, so we are hopeful that uh, these soon will be back with us, uh, fully recovered. Um, just a reminder once again, how important it is for us to be vigilant in every way, uh, for us to be looking out for ourselves and looking out for one another with the wearing of masks and social distancing in particular. Those are the two most important, uh, you might say, vaccines that we have. They're not foolproof, but uh, for right now, that's all we have. Um, and of course, there are some other measures, gathering only in small groups so you can socially distance, um, and wear your masks, of course, at all times, and outside's better than inside, and making sure that you wash your hands with some regularity. Uh, those are all important. The most, two most important are wearing your masks at all times that you're not in your units or apartments, um, and then also the social distancing of at least six feet apart. Really important. And once again, if, as I mentioned last week, if you see someone that isn't wearing their mask, and you know that they need to be, right? Because everybody needs to be, all staff, all residents, all guests, anybody coming to visit someone here. We all need to be wearing our masks at all times. Be sure to politely point that out because we all need to be cooperating. We all, we're all in this together. We need to protect one another. It's a community. That's the way a community works. Uh, freedom, yes. Responsibility goes along with freedom. All right, that's vital. <clears throat> Um, for closing today, I want to reflect on John Lewis. Of course, John Lewis, he died on Friday night. Um, he was, of course, a great icon, a tremendous leader, um, a real hero in the movement for social justice, in the movement to fight bigotry, to fight injustices, um, and, and uh, he had a profound influence. I want to read a, an excerpt from an op-ed piece that appeared uh, it's by Colbert King. He's a columnist for the Washington Post. It appeared, I think it was on Sunday, uh, Saturday. Um, you know, a little background, and I'm, I'm sure you know this, so I'm preaching to the choir. Uh, but John Lewis, um, he started out as a teenager uh, fighting for uh, social justice, uh, fighting prejudice. Um, and um, over the course of his life, he was arrested 45 times um, in acts of protest against the injustices in our society against black people. Uh, he was beaten unconscious um, at one of the rallies that he attended. Um, as he reflected back on his life, he said that uh, of his 45 arrests, he said it was good trouble. Wow, talk about gracious, good trouble. Um, John, and I think I also mentioned he served 30 years in the House of Representatives in Congress. Um, most impressive. So the title of this article is John Lewis Will Always Be With Us. Again, by Colbert King um, a couple days ago in the uh, Washington Post. I'm just jumping in the middle of the article. Just as DNA contains the instructions needed for an organism to develop and survive, Lewis's life, sto life story contains the directives to follow in the struggle to make America a better country. John Lewis gone? Impossible. As long as the vestiges of slavery and Jim Crow linger, as long as African Americans and people of color continue to suffer from the damages and losses growing out of racism and deprivation, his living legacy is with us because he has given us what is lasting. He never swerved from his credo that, quote, people of all faiths and no faiths and all backgrounds, creeds and colors must band together to fight for equality and justice in a peaceful, orderly, 
nonviolent fashion, end quote. It was a statement he repeatedly repeated as recently as a few weeks ago following the police killings and unrest in his Atlanta hometown and across the nation. Quote, I see you. I hear you. I know your pain, your rage, your sense of despair and hopelessness. Of course, as we know, it's now been um, almost a couple of months ago that we experienced the shock of the uh, George Floyd killing. Um, and since then, um, maybe the riots have quieted down some. Uh, there are fewer protests maybe there, and, uh, and so forth. However, uh, the reverberations certainly have not stopped. Um, they continue around the world. And uh, John Lewis, um, as the article says, um, the DNA, the power of his influence continues and it is, is not diminished. Uh, what a great person our society lost um, those few days ago uh, and yet his power continues. Take care everyone. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 1.30. Bye-bye.